Well, I'm, uh, I'm Bernard. Um, it was way back in 1968 when uh, I first started to have problems with a swelling in the abdomen groin area with pain which became uh, more repetitive and uh, the pain becoming more excessive. From the doctors, it was two days later, I was into our local hospital and a week later I was transferred to another major hospital in London. I was totally unaware because the coming of age was 21 and I was 20 at the time. I wasn't actually told anything at all as to what the problem was. The medical teams were, were discussing things and I overheard them say it was non-Hodgkin's disease. I went on for years assuming that I just had this very strange disease. There was absolutely no support at that time whatsoever. My mother had to bear it all on her own, although she had very good friends. To go back to an empty house uh, was very hard. Psychologically, I was affected no end. I couldn't keep down the sleeping tablet once I heard the trolley coming along that evening. There are various areas it's very hard to actually sort of consider talking about. People do say that it is something which you have to learn to live with and it's something which you never forget because as soon as you feel anything, it might be a cold for any other person, but if you suddenly feel that what is effectively a swollen gland, you feel the worst. And that is ongoing. It takes a long, long time to, to slowly move away from that. It was, dare I say, 40 years when we had a celebratory champagne reception that I was given the all clear and that it's unlikely to recur. Lymphoma wasn't a word I'd even heard of until I actually uh, had that 40th celebratory anniversary uh, when by pure chance I went to a day ward and saw the Lymphoma Association magazine. I was actually amazed at, at what the Lymphoma Association actually offered considering that throughout those 60s and 70s there was absolutely no support whatsoever and I can speak with authority having gone through it not knowing anything and then finding out that in fact I had follicular lymphoma you, you really uh, must contact the Lymphoma Association if you've got any concerns at all. It's there for everybody affected, whether it's a patient themselves, whether it's husbands, wives, friends, family, in any way. But of course that does come at a cost and I always feel that if you can do absolutely anything to help support uh, the organisation itself, after all we're all supporting one another. So please fill up a coin box online or in person and help the Lymphoma Association carry on supporting people like me. Thank you.